Well, good morning from the beautiful city of Jakarta here in Indonesia. What an absolutely beautiful city this is. I absolutely love it here. Uh, but today I'm taking a flight out of Jakarta with an airline that, um, well, doesn't have the best reputation um, in terms of safety or much of anything really. So um, yes, join me today because we're taking a flight on Lion Air. Eek. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Thank you, have a great day. Thank you. Uh, just this. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We'll see you later. Bye bye. I'll be back later. Thank you. Alright, so I've got to find out where I need to be. I've got no idea. E6 is my gate. Um, and this airport's just chaos, I've no idea where we need to go, so let's see if we can figure this one out. Alright, so I've got through, well, I've gone went through to the next bit of the airport, it's weird, it's sort of segregated into different areas. Um, we're not even at security yet, so we've sort of gone through that first bit, gone through the check-in bit, now I'm in another bit, and now sort of heading for security, I think. Let's go and um, get through security and see what's airside here at Jakarta Airport. say as airports go <laughs> this is an airport of two halves that first bit as you walk in was just like crazy and busy and mental and just really really chaotic and then look where you end up when you get through to airside it's like night and day it's like a tropical paradise now amazing <laughs> what a strange airport I love it <laughs> and then you get through to here Look at this, it's like being on some sort of tropical island somewhere. <laughs> it's incredible. What a nice airport this is. Like the when you walk in it's absolute chaos and then you get through to like a tropical tranquil paradise once you actually get through to um, the gates. Very, very nice. I like it here. Uh, this, this is what I like about Indonesia, it's just an amazing country. So um really enjoy spending my time here. Um so I'm looking forward to seeing what Lion Air have got in store for me today for sure. Um, and seeing if they're just quite as bad as their reputation that precedes them, really. I've just realised, actually, I've come to a realisation. Lion, spelt backwards, is the same word that Josh Cahill calls me. Noil. Noil. Noil air. And subscribe to Noil's OnlyFans. <laughs> OnlyFans.com slash Noil. Is it normal that at an airport departure gate, there's a room for people to go and pray before they get on the plane. Is that a sign about Lion Air? It's fair to say that Lion Air don't exactly have the best safety record. They've been banned from flying to the EU and the US for most of their history thanks to a series of high-profile accidents. Since 2002, they've crashed a total of 11 planes, mostly down to either pilot error or maintenance failures. The latest and perhaps most well-known crash was the MAX 8 crash after taking off from Jakarta in 2018. Investigators said that the crash was caused by a combination of design flaws by Boeing, poorly trained pilots and inadequate maintenance by Lion Air. The flight I'm taking today is the same one as the ill-fated flight JT610 was supposed to fly, the morning flight from Jakarta to Pankal Penang, now renumbered to flight JT618. It wasn't too long before my plane turned up, but it seemed some people were more eager than others to try and get on board. So rather interestingly, there is a door here that leads you straight down the jet bridge onto the plane. There's nobody standing here and the door's completely unlocked, so people are like literally walking down to the plane 
and getting turned around and sent back up because they're not ready to board yet. <laughs> There's literally nothing stopping people just going and getting on the plane, even though like, we don't board for another sort of half an hour yet. <laughs> That's interesting. Wow, I've never seen that before. Usually they have at least some sort of degree of security so you can't get down the jet bridge, but no, you can just wander straight on down. And, and what's slightly more concerning still is that just there, I don't know if you can see there's some steps. Just here. Um, there's no door there either, so you could literally just walk right down onto the ramp. And there's no security there, there or anything like that. You could literally just walk straight onto the ramp here at Jakarta International Airport. Straight, straight through with nobody stopping you. Wow. Eventually though it was my time to board and a gate agent finally turned up who was having a little bit of success in stopping people going through the doors on the other side. <coughs> And here is the open door onto the ramp from halfway down the jet bridge. There really is nothing stopping you from getting straight down there and walking across the apron. Hello, good morning. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Then here we go on board the Lion Air 737. First impressions, well, it's um, it's a little snug, but um, yeah, it's about an hour, hour and a half, I think, hour on this thing today. They do some longer legs over like two, three hours, but this is very, very tight. Um, but I like the fact that the seat back's quite nice and high, though. That's quite nice. And there's my view out of the window. Not going to lie, a little bit nervous. But um, we'll get through it. I've, I've been on worse, have I? I think. I don't know, have I? I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll find out. I was starting to wonder whether Lion Parcel would give me a little bit more of a comfortable ride than sitting in the back of a Lion Air 737. So that's interesting. The cabin crew just come around and said, oh, they noticed I'm quite tall. Um, would I like to move to an emergency exit row to get a little bit more leg room? Um, which I thought was quite nice. I must, um, very sweet of them. I said, no, I'm all right. Thank you. It's only an hour long flight. Um, so I don't mind <laughs> seeing here. And also it means that everybody else has got to move to let me out. So I'm all right seeing here. But that's very kind of and very thoughtful, actually. So yeah, thank you, Lionel. That's very kind for the offer. Before too long we started to push back and I made sure I had a good old read of the safety card before we got on our way up to Pankal Penang. then took us north out of Jakarta to cross the Java Sea to Pankal Penang. Flight time today was 47 minutes cruising at 27,000 feet. Right then, so airborne from Jakarta on the Lion Air 737-900. So yeah, all pretty decent so far. Um, nice views of um, the airport of Jakarta as we climbed out there, that was pretty nice. Got about a 40 minute run, I think, that was today up to Pankal Penang, which is a, um, I'll, I'll be completely honest, I've done literally no research on this place at all. Um, I just know it's where this plane will take me and where I can get a plane back from later on today. So we're off to a place called Pankal Penang, which I think is an island off the coast of Indonesia. It'll be interesting to see what it's like when we get up there um, on the Lion Air 737. Now, rather ironically, while I was waiting to board this flight, my phone popped up with a notification from Ground News to let me know that yet another Lion Air plane had been involved in an accident in Indonesia, this time running into a building. 
Now, Ground News is actually an app that I've used for years. So when they approached me and asked if they could sponsor me, it was really a no brainer because I absolutely love this app. And it basically uh, amalgamates all of the news together um, into one app, which sounds kind of, not well, a lot of, there's a few apps that do that sort of thing. The difference with Ground News is that it lets you sort by things like the bias of the news organization. So you can get like a really complete view from the left to the right of the whole kind of spectrum of analysis on different news stories, which I find invaluable. You can read a news story and find it's been written in a completely different way from the left-wing outlet to a right-wing outlet, and normally you don't get to see that, do you? Normally you don't get to see that whole kind of range in the spectrum, but you can actually watch them, read them, and compare them, and see right what are we being told that this other outlet isn't telling us and things like that it's really really good now ground news is completely free of charge to download and install and use it and i like i said i use it all the time it's just absolutely invaluable for me it gives me breaking news and things like that but also like i say it gives you that ability to sort it and actually see where the biases are and maybe pick up on news articles that you wouldn't have picked up on ordinarily it's proper decent so um, if you use the link on the screen now and um you'll be able to download ground news as well completely free of charge and give it a go if you want to support my channel and a small team trying to make the news more transparent subscribe now for unlimited access All right, then started our descent down into, um, oh, f I forgot the name of the place we're going. All right, then started our descent. Interestingly, they've just done an announcement saying that please do not remove the life jackets from the aircraft when we leave <laughs> the aircraft because they will search the bags of everybody when you get off to make sure that you haven't taken the um, life jacket. Um, is, is that a problem on Lion Air? a slightly worrying one isn't it i've just checked there is well, definitely one under my seat so um, we, are, we are good <laughs> and now I, I won't be taking it as a souvenir on today's flight anyway we'll be down on the ground um i guess in about 10 minutes now Now one thing that was fantastic on this flight was the absolutely incredible scenery on approach to Pankal Penang. Just look at this view as we come across the hills on short final into the airport. Here we were then landing at Pankal Penang, the only challenge now to get off the aircraft without getting beaten to a pulp by all the other passengers. Mission successful. The coolest thing about flying into airports like this is that absolutely nobody is in a rush to get off the apron once you land and get off the plane because everybody's just standing around taking selfies which was a great opportunity for me to get my own selfie in front of a Lion Air 737. Selfies complete, it was time to head into the terminal building to find out what's here at this tiny airport in the north of Indonesia. I'm a survivor. Yes, survived Lion Air. Yay. Um, now, I've got to say some good things and some bad things, because if I am positive about an airline and say nice things, or people will say that they've paid me, and if I say bad things about airlines, then people inevitably say that another airline has paid me. Apparently, that's actually the thing, apparently. But um, anyway, um, so good things. The cabin crew on Lion Air were fantastic. Absolutely amazing. Could not do enough to help me. Really, really good. Um, bad things, well, the leg room was a bit of a crap situation really it wasn't brilliant but they did offer to move me which was nice and um other good thing is that we didn't end up going for a swimming lesson in a lagoon off the end of a runway somewhere which on lion air is always a positive so thumbs up lion air that was quite a nice flight actually um welcome to pankal pinang um in the north of indonesia um and i'm about to head back inside because i've got another airline to try today and i'm really looking forward to trying them so let me know what you thought to lion air down in the comments would you fly them would you risk it 
let me know down in the comments. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.